with Jesus. Welcome, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Uh, uh, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching. Share this video. Share the word. Let's get it today. Amen. Uh, uh, we're back to the parables with Jesus. We are in Luke chapter 13. All right. And this is... Uh, um, this is going to be a blessed message. I'm excited for you. I'm excited for me. I'm excited for what God is about to tell us, reveal to us, and, 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 and just give to us. Amen? So, I hope you're ready. But before we do, let us pray. Dear God, we just want to thank you for everything that you're doing, Lord God. We want to thank you for, for waking us up this morning, Lord God. We want to thank you for another day of life, Lord God, to make things right, to make things better, Lord God, to accomplish our dreams, Lord God, to, 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 to do your will, Lord God. So, Lord, let it, let it be a great day, Lord God. And, 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 Lord, open up our ears, our minds, our hearts, our bodies, and our souls, Lord God, to be able to receive your message today, Lord God, that it anoints us, that it changes us, and that it, it rearranges us, Lord God, and, and, and that after today, we will no longer be the same. In your precious name, amen. All right. I hope you're ready, all right? Share it with somebody. Uh, 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 tell somebody right now about this word, amen? And we're going to go to Luke chapter 13. Luke chapter 13. And I'm reading off the New King James Version. All right? So if you're reading off the NIV, the NSV, whatever, uh, 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 BLT, bacon, lettuce, and tomato, um, it's all good. Amen? Just know there's a, a couple little different words, but it's all good. Amen? You're going to get it today. So... Luke chapter 13, verse 1 through 9. That's what we're going to read. And this is, this is again, this is Jesus going to be talking. He's going to be saying some things. So uh, listen up. Amen? Listen up. Watch this. So, now, the title, of the, the title of this message is, Life is Short and Precious. Life is Short and Precious. Watch this. Watch this. Luke 13, verse 1. There were present at the season some who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answered and said to them, Do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those 18 on, on whom the tower in the asylum fell and killed them? Do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you no. But unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Now I want to stop there real quick. And then we're going to read the rest. So Jesus is saying, because they tell him, hey, what about those Galileans that, that Pilate, right, sacrificed? They died horrifically and all these things. So they're like, hey, because they, 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 they died in tragedy and all these things, uh, uh, they were thinking that they were worse sinners than they were or worse sinners than other people. And Jesus is saying no. So they're insinuating because they died this way, because they went through what they went through, they were big sinners. They were worse sinners than others. But Jesus is saying no. All right? Jesus is implying that we must not relate tragedy and suffering with God's punishment. Okay? In this life, we're going to go through some things. Things are going to happen. All right? We're going, we're going to go through some trials and tribulations. There's people that are going to die, things that are going to happen. But just because those things happen doesn't mean that God is punishing you. That's not the way it works. So Jesus is setting them straight here. Amen? So, but Jesus is saying, repent. Okay? He said, unless you repent, you will likewise perish. Amen? So, they're insinuating all these things. And Jesus is saying, no. It's like if somebody said, all the people that died from COVID were sinners, and that's why they died. No. 
That's foolish. Life happens. Amen? This is part of life. And so Jesus gives them another story, you know? And he's like, oh, were they worse sinners? No, of course not. So, in this life, you will have those things. You will have hardships. You will have tribulations. You will have things that happen to you and, and, and people that perish. Amen? But what he's saying is that life is short and precious. So repent and live or die and perish. Woo! Repent and start living or die and perish forever. Amen? Watch this, watch this. Verse 6. He also spoke this parable. So Jesus is beginning to speak a, a, a parable. Watch this. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Then he said to the keeper of his vineyard, Look, for three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why does it use up the ground? But he answered and said to him, Sir, let it alone this year also, until I dig around it and fertilize it. And if it bears fruit, well, but if not, after that, you can cut it down. So this is, what, this is the parable. This man comes, he sees a fig tree, and he says, I've been coming to this fig tree for three years, and it hasn't given me any fruit. This fig tree is pretty much dead. Just cut it down. It is no good to society. It is no good for anybody. It is not bearing fruit. And then he says, but the vineyard, right, the, the, uh, the keeper of the vineyard, the gardener of the vineyard, is saying, well, hold on. Let me, let, let, let me nourish it. Let me uh, uh, fertilize it. Give me a year and watch if it doesn't produce fruit. And if it doesn't, then cut it down. Right? The fig tree in this parable, it's us. It is you. It is me. We are the fig tree. All right? Jesus is the gardener saying, hold on. Let me work on this person. Jesus is saying, hold on. I believe in this person. Let me work in this person. Let me work at her. Let me work in him and see if they don't start producing so much fruit. Jesus sees your potential. Amen? Both stories, this, I wanted to read from the beginning because it is saying, repent. When we repent, we start living. And when we start living, when Jesus fertilizes us, gives us fertil fertilize so we can grow and we can nourish, right? The Word of God, the Spirit of God changes us, produces fruit out of our life. Amen? So Jesus is saying, He believes in you. He's buying more time for you. He knows that you can produce fruit. Life is short and precious, so cherish it. Repent and follow Jesus so that you may truly start living. See, there's a lot of people like this fig tree that have been in this earth just there. They're just going to their job. They're just waking up in the morning. They're just there, pretty much dead inside. But Jesus is saying he believes in you. Jesus wants to nourish you. Jesus wants to fertilize you. Jesus wants to uproot you. 
Jesus wants you to produce fruit from your life. Amen? See, if you only knew how fragile life really is, how much of a gift life really is, if you only knew how short life really is, it would give you urgency to repent and start truly living. So the first couple uh, 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 verses is telling you how precious life truly is. Amen. See, this tree wasn't producing any fruit. What is the fruit? The fruit in your life means you're making a difference in this world. Amen. It's all the little things that you do. I believe this ministry is producing fruit to others. Amen. As we preach the word, there's fruit, an abundance of fruit that you are eating from right now. Because you're watching, because you're listening. Amen. So when you study the word, when you live according to Christ, then you are producing fruit upon your life. That doesn't mean that everything is going to be perfect. That doesn't mean that everything is going to go uh, uh, peaches and cream. Amen. But that means that you will produce an abundance of life. That means that you are truly living to your potential. The word comes out. Amen. What you are receiving right now is the fertilize for your life. This, what I'm giving you, what God is giving you right now, he's fertilizing you for you to come out of your deadness. Jesus is saying, hold on. Give me a little bit more time. Let me work on her. Let me work on him and see what I can do with him. He believes in you. Right now, he's speaking life into your situation. Thank you, Jesus. Right now, we are speaking life into your dead situation. I don't know what you're going through, but God knows what, what is happening right now. Whether you're in the hospital saying this is it, or you're out there uh, 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 on addiction, amen, or, or, or maybe you just lost someone, or you're going through some hard trials right now, maybe you're going through a divorce, Maybe things are crumbling upon your life. Maybe you feel like this is a, that, that's it. I am giving up. Jesus sees your potential. And he's beginning to breathe life into your situation. He's beginning to fertilize you so you can grow in abundance. Jesus sees potential in you. The devil's got you down being here just on this earth. Saying, that's all there is. But Jesus says, no, no, no. I am working through this situation right now. She is not dead. He is not dead. I am working. Watch what I can do when I fertilize their life. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus sees the potential in you. It is not your time to die. Rise up. And produce fruit in the name of Jesus. Rise up today. Don't waste another day. Life is short and precious. We never know when it's our last day. Repent today and start truly living. Watch what God does. He's a mighty God. He's an all-powerful God. He's an awesome God. Life is short and precious. So what are you going to do with it? Are you going to repent and live or perish and die? 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. See, I know that a lot of people have lost loved ones through COVID and all the things that have happened. I have lost a loved one. I've went through so many things last year to this year that you couldn't even imagine. From losing a son to a family member wanting to kill me. But God says, I am fertilizing this man because he's about to produce a fruit and abundance for other people. Thank you, Jesus. He is not done with me yet. He is not done with you yet. I don't care what you're going through. Don't listen to the lies of the enemy. Listen to Jesus Christ. He will produce an abundance of fruit in your life. See, and that fruit is always for others. Hmm. When God blesses you, you're supposed to be a blessing to others. Amen. Just like, a, like, a, like an apple tree, you couldn't eat all those apples. You could try, I guess. But you make, you make apple pie, right? You give apples to your children. You do a lot of things with the fruit, right? You don't just say, oh, this is mine. No, 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 no. You start blessing. You start being a blessing. Amen? That's what life is really about living. Is when you can be a blessing into other people's lives. And listen, I'm not talking about just money. I'm not talking about just, oh, you know. No, no, no. You just smiling to that cashier, just saying, God bless you. You just smiling to somebody. You just giving somebody an encouragement, sharing this word with them. Amen. Start really living for God. Amen. Life is short and precious. Don't waste it away. Don't waste another day. Make that decision today to start really living for Jesus Christ. Repent and live. Amen. Repent and really start living. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I want to pray with some of you guys. Listen, if this ministry is blessing you, go to the website, amen? Uh, send in your testimony, amen? Send in a message, amen? Comment, like the video, share them, subscribe to them, right? Do all that. If it's blessing you, be a blessing to others. Share them, amen? We want to hear from you. If you have prayer requests, send them in. We want to pray with you. Because hmm. God is fertilizing me so I can be in abundance. Thank you, Jesus. He's doing the same thing for you, amen? Do you receive it today? Do you receive what God is doing for your life today? Amen? Because he's a perfect gentleman. You have to invite him in. Invite him into your heart today. Repent. Amen. Repent. That means repentance means asking God for forgiveness. John the Baptist told everybody to repent. Amen. Jesus is saying repent. And watch what he does. In your life turn to him today don't waste another day today is the day the Bible says that God that tomorrow is not promised to us live start living today live today be joyful today be thankful for today I want to pray with you guys let us pray dear God I just thank you for the the, the word Lord God 
Thank you that you are fertilizing us, Lord God. Thank you that you are giving us the word, Lord God, that we are receiving it, Lord God, that you are the water of life, Lord God, that you are watering us right now, Lord God, that you are the sunshine, Lord God. You are giving us a, a, a sun, Lord God, to produce your fruit, Lord God. You are taking care of every situation in our lives, Lord God. The devil had us for dead, but you are raising us up, Lord God. Let us produce this year, Lord God, your fruit, Lord God. Lord, I want to be a good tree that produces your fruit, Lord God. I want to be faithful, Lord God. So, Lord, we ask for forgiveness, Lord God. We repent of our sins, Lord God, and we turn directly to you. We look unto you. You are our salvation, Lord God. You are our Savior, Lord God. And we know that when we do, we put in our trust in you. Every single day, Lord God. That when we die, we will go to heaven, Lord God. And we will live, continue living. But before we do, we're going to make a mark on this earth. We're going to make a difference for you, Lord God. We thank you, Lord God. We pray for those that need healing right now in the name of Jesus. Rise up and live right now within your bodies, Lord God. We pray for them. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, send your mighty angels to protect our children, Lord God. Lord, Lord, we thank you for what you're doing in our lives, Lord God. We pray for marriages right now, Lord God. Devil, you can't have them in the name of Jesus. Lord, we pray for healing and we pray that we produce. We want to be faithful to you. In your precious name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Tune in next week. Share this. God bless you. Uh, uh, and if you want to be a blessing, go to the website. If you want to donate, donate. But don't do it because I tell you. Okay? Do it because God's putting it in your heart. Because if you do it because I tell you, you won't get blessed. But if God tells you, be obedient. That's simply it. That's it. And God blesses you. Amen. Have a great day. Be blessed. God bless you. See you next time.